Hey guys, what is going on? It's being here, Ball here, and welcome back to the King Games YouTube channel. Where I'm of course bringing you guys the latest information on all things Battlefield 1. Now, before I go ahead and jump into today's video, yet again, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support recently. You guys are being absolutely insane with all these new Battlefield videos, We're getting over 100 views per video. Considering just, you know, over a week ago, I had about 15 subs, it already climbed to 30 subs, and I'm getting over 100 views per video. It's absolutely insane. So, thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are really, really awesome, and uh, you're definitely keeping me inspired to make more and more Battlefield 1 videos. But anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about is a supposed rumour. I don't know how likely this is at the moment, but this is something I just saw about the other day. Uh, now, an anonymous source inside EA, which is apparently not DICE, have tipped off this particular person with the names of all of the maps within the vanilla game. So, I don't know exactly how true this is. This is just a rumour as of now, but we could uh, potentially see these maps being the actual maps included within Battlefield 1. So, the map names we have so far are Asia Go Offensive, which is an Italian Alps map, Gaza Sands, which is a desert map, so obviously we're going to have more desert warfare like we did in Battlefield 4, obviously really, really awesome, uh, Siege of Damascus, which I'd assume is some sort of desert urban sort of map, uh, Stalemate, which sounds like a Flanders Field kind of map, so obviously they are going to have particular maps which are probably going to be based within real World War 1 locations, obviously Flanders Field, a famous location used within World War 1, uh, as well as that we've also got Anna Zach Cove which sounds like a Gallipoli I'd assume that D-Day map level cap mentioned and the one with the battleship ruining the coastline so obviously we saw in the trailer there was obviously a battleship that could be the map called Anzac Cove uh, next map here is called Garden Twilight obviously don't really have any idea what sort of map this could be uh, you know it's just a name Garden Twilight I don't really know what that could sort of entail uh, we then got Argon Shade which is probably the forest map which we saw within the trailer we've then got Operation Castle Wick um, which obviously maybe references something to do with the campaign or something. Don't really know what it could do with. Don't think we saw it in the trailer or anything. And then we've got Scorched Earth, which sounds sort of Western or sort of Eastern Front. Uh, now, according to the source, these may or may not be the actual titles used in the game, but they were definitely at least working titles or suggested titles at some point during creation of the game. So obviously, these might not be the official map names, but apparently they were used at some point to name some of the maps in a past version of the game, which is obviously really, really interesting indeed. Some of these are actually pretty damn weird to pronounce um you know previous battlefield maps are sort of pretty easy to sort of pronounce i mean it's just something a bit weird but uh i don't know these map names sound kind of cool i don't really know how real they'll be when it comes into the actual game obviously we'll have to wait until we get more information on that uh, the only other bit of news I've got for you guys today is talking about Battlefield 1 game modes. Now, in, they haven't actually confirmed any official game modes that will be playable yet. Obviously, I'd imagine Conquest would obviously return within Battlefield 1. It is like one of the biggest modes within Battlefield games. Uh, but supposedly, the Battlefield 1 modes will be coherent with World War 1 settings. The DICE have stated that, you know, they're obviously going to have sort of game modes which sort of play into the sort of World War 1 style. So they will sort of, you know, sort of, you know, actually play like the sort of things you'd have during World War 1 rather than just sort of, you know, really unrealistic situation modes. So uh, that's pretty interesting to see indeed. I don't really know, you know, how exactly that will play in, but obviously it's very, very interesting indeed. But that's all the information I've got for you guys today. Yet again, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support recently. You guys are awesome. I'm going to keep making Battlefield 1 videos for you guys because honestly, I'm really, really enjoying moving over to Battlefield. And uh, I honestly don't know how much I'm going to really do with COD anymore because uh, COD seems to be dying out pretty damn quickly. I really couldn't care so much at all about Infinite Warfare because I'm just not really excited for it at all but battlefield one looks absolutely fantastic i'm definitely looking forward to making more videos for you guys in the future so, so stay subscribed if you want to stay up to date with all the latest battlefield one news and information and uh, i will of course see you guys in another video peace out